Check, check. Czech Republic. People always ask me, they're like, oh, you're, you're Czech. And I'm like, yes. And they're like, yeah, Czechoslovakia is a good country. I'm like, I'm not Slovak, I'm Czech. What's up? Are you going to be in the interview too? Ah, fuck it. My English isn't good either. <laughs> Especially after about 10 of these motherfuckers, you're going to be fucked up. Are you recording already? Yeah. Where are you from, Bulgaria? Yeah. Fucking Bulgaria, I'm coming to your motherfucking house. We're coming to your house, man. We're coming to Bulgaria. We've been trying to come to Bulgaria for about 20 years. But nobody there wants to fucking book us because they think we're weird. We are weird. That's why you should book us. Anyways, next time we'll go to Bulgaria. Fuck it. Let me take a sip of this uh, uh, Coca-Cola. I'm Mike. I'm Mike Hood. I play vocals in Hoods from Sacramento, California. Yep. And I also wrote the album. I played the bass and the guitar on the album. We have a new album coming out November 25th on Artery Records called Gato Negro. Danke. Okay, we're done. Choose. Oh, yeah, you're Bulgarian. Right? Well, the new album came out. I named the album Gato Negro. It's about my cat, Chum Chum Beast. We travel together. I pet him a lot. He's a very big cat. He's not black, but his skin's black. You know, kind of like, kind of like, um, hmm, like uh, Shaquille O'Neal. He's a black on the outside, but he's white on the inside because he has a job. That's where I need the drummer. Next. Lost in translation. Fuck. It took, it took that fucking long because I was doing a lot of other shit. <laughs> I was partying, doing drugs, smoking weed, um, drinking a lot of alcohol. Uh, no, it's because I, I, I was working a lot and I had a, a fucking a barber shop, believe it or not. I have, I have, I'm a barber. I do this for the kids with cancer. It's okay. No, we could shave your head. Straight razor. But no, I, I was opening a barber shop, so I took um, from the Pit Beast album. It's been almost four years, I think. It took so long because I, I, did, I had to do an album. Or um, I had to open a business. I'm 40 years old. I needed to, um, my kitties, my kitties are very, um, they demand a lot of money. They get very well taken care of. They get groomed. They get their nails done. My kitties are special. So it took me about four years to write an album because I had a barber shop. And now I'm back on the fucking road. And I say, fuck the barber shop. I'll just claim bankruptcy. No. Not at all. It's this. The new album is more hardcore. Um, I'd almost say the new album's half street punk, like skinhead street punk, not anti-fa, but not racist. I don't fucking like either. But we just in the middle. That's where we're at. So the new album's more like street punk. But I don't know. There's 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 some hard. There's about 13 songs. I'd say half of it's hardcore, like normal hoods hardcore. But then half of it's like. Uh, I don't know, I really got into like like uh, like hooligan, football hooligan, skinhead shit, like Sham 69 and the Sex Pistols, and I love punk rock more than hardcore. But nowadays, hardcore and punk is fucking like diet cola. It's bullshit. I grew up in the fucking 80s when we did real hardcore punk, little fucking pussy posers. But now I write a fucking strong album. We come back and we bring it so these new kids raised like I was raised in a real scene. Mexico, Mexico, rah, rah, rah. Give it up to the Mexicans. DFA way. Tranquilo para mi momento. Yes, yeah, sir, I speak Mexican. No. Fuck no. <laughs> I've been writing, I've, I've written 99% of every hood song ever. I play, I've played in gu guitar in hoods for fucking like uh, 12 years and the other eight I sang but I write I play bass guitar I play the guitar, normal guitar I did drums on a bunch of songs um, when I hit the studio I don't bring nobody with me I go alone and maybe with just a drummer and then I write the album and then I teach all my friends in my neighborhood how to play the songs and then a bunch of poor ghetto white boys go and tour the fucking world together and we don't have nothing look at my sneakers I ain't got no fucking money. I'm here for fuck. I'm here for the beer and whiskey. Woo. 
Are you okay? Are you having technical difficulties? You want me to hold that for you? That's what she said. I fucking hate singing. I want to play guitar in hoods, but it's very, I was going to say, it's very hard to fill the shoes because <laughs> they stink so bad. But no, I, I fucking, I like singing for the band, but I get anxiety attacks. Like, it's very difficult sometimes, but I, when you play guitar, you can stand behind your guitar, but when you're up there, you're very vulnerable, and everything I write about is very personal, and it makes, some of the songs make you cry, some of them make you happy or sad, but I write everything from the heart, so uh, it's scary sometimes, you know, you can stand in front of people you don't know, it's, it's not easy, but someone's got to fucking do it, Willie Nelson did, next question. Most favorite thing is I smell like shit. <laughs> Least favorite thing is I smell like shit. Next question. Actually, no, no. My, my fucking worst thing about tours, I miss my cats. Chum Chum Beast, Bella Beast, Friendly Beast, this goes out to you. Meow. They'll see it, no, no, they'll see it on the internet tonight. My cats order pizza. They're like, meow, meow, meow. No, no, they fucking send, they send texts because they got these little claws. <laughs> Yeah, if, if you don't like cats, I'll kill you. Chinese buffet? Your, your cat, your cat's name is Chinese buffet? Hey, be careful. I've, I've had Chinese buffet where I think there was cat in it. Three? I could give you one. We're still here after 20 years. Longevity. Um... I don't know, I get to go on tour with my friends. I pick my band. Actually, my band picks me, but I got a lot of friends. Thankfully, we all play music, and we've got some good musicians, and we're good enough to maybe break even, and we lose a lot of money coming over here doing this shit, but I'm just, I'm just glad I can still do this. I'm 40 years old, man, and these young kids, I can outpace them, outfight them, and outfuck them. Baby, she knows. <laughs> Taxi, gotta go, choose. Um, well, the crowds in America are, are way more fucking violent. Um, the, hey Marty, the crowds in Europe, in America, America is way more fucking violent. Um, it's, it's, Come on, come on, get in here. Hold my book. This is Marty. He's been in hoods for about, on and off for, what, 10 or 11 years? 10 years he's been. Oh, 10, yeah, 10 years. The drink or the mic? <laughs> Both. That's Marty. I love Marty. He's a black guy in a white man's body. He's a coconut. You understand? He's got white insides, but black outside. Oh, whatever. Scheiße, guy. That's German for, it's cool. <laughs> um, no, the, 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 the crowds in the United States are, are way more aggressive. Um, um, I don't know what it is, but like um, Philadelphia, Chicago, Boston, New York, are in, um, they're very hard, they're very aggressive. The kids here, they would get eaten. Just like in Bulgaria, you guys, Bulgaria's got fucking way more violent fans than these motherfuckers. These Austrians are a bunch of rich kids. And maybe, or maybe not, they appreciate it a little more or less. But where I come from, we have this much. And when we see our band that we like, we fucking give them 100%. And we fucking destroy the fucking place. And we still respect. But um, actually, Poland's very good. Czech's very good. Belgium is very, very good. Um... The other place I think they don't appreciate the music. Um, like tonight, it's it's okay, but you guys see if we play in Bulgaria or anywhere, Croatia, Serbia. Now, the crowd will be fucking massive, like Poland, and they'll fucking kill each other. And they'll they um, I think it's a, a financial difference because it's like when we play the the poor areas where we come from, it's it's way more aggressive and, and uh, it's like an energy release it's like free therapy for people who can't afford it Mexico Mexico all the way like the FA way 
They're from, they're from these, these guys are from Mexico City. Look at that little guy. I like him. Palon, we. Eh, mota, pinche puto, andiamo. Vamanos, puto. That means hurry up, you little Mexican chinchilla. Now I'm drinking out of the fucking cup. I don't eat the straw no more. I'm already drunk. What's up? I like your blue jacket, by the way. Little boy blue, he needed the money. Look it up on Google. <laughs> Andrew Dice Clay. Sorry, I'm a comedian. I've been trying to come to Bulgaria, Hungary, Croatia, Serbia, Montenegro, Rusland, Latvia, Estonia. I've played all those. I played Estonia before, but the problem is, is we're on a um, booking agency that doesn't really. Hmm. Next tour, I will book and we'll come to your city. That's it. And like, I, I've been trying to come to your country for years, but the, to make it, um, we don't need to. We don't need to make. We don't need to make money. But if we if we come to your country and we just want to break even, and maybe if we lose a little, that's no problem either. But um, the financial burden, it's very very um, it's very expensive for us to come over here and tour especially I'm 40 man I got I've got a lot of bills at home um, I, I, I don't know why we've never played like Balash, Hungary, no, Bulgaria I'll come to your fucking countries I just don't want to see no Nazi skinheads um, I don't mind if they come and talk to me and they're nonviolent but don't act aggressive to me because <laughs> we're aggressive too we will come to your country it's, it, we haven't we didn't do it on purpose it's just we can't afford it and um, our booking agency, I don't know how to say this without getting fired. We want to come to your country. Hit us up directly. You can email us. Um, we just got to make at least to pay for everything minimum is about 500 euros. If we come all that way and we drive 12 hours, we can make it work. We, we yeah, yeah, we, we, we've, we want to play everywhere. But to make it financially reasonable, it's very, very difficult because it's like if we, uh, like we played on um, Hungary once and we get like maybe 50 euros, which is cool, but it costs us 700 euros to come from France. And then we get there and I love this fucking, I love the kids, but I can't afford it, man. I, I don't have much money myself. I don't have nothing more than anybody else. And uh, But we will try, we will give an effort. We've, been a band for 20 years it took us a long time to come to Europe because of felony convictions and money situations but we're here we will come it's it's a new era it's gonna happen there's nothing that's gonna stop us and I think um, if the kids contact me we'll fucking come we'll drive the van let's go let's go right now Balkans fucking Balkans man I'm fucking coming to your house man we're gonna eat some cheese and some bread maybe some tomatoes and pet your cats we will come to your country I'm sorry it's taken us so long we just don't have the money to get there and um, maybe maybe the next tour we can um, afford to but I have to save just for this tour I save almost nine I don't know I saved all year to come here and it's, it's we're not a big band we've got big hearts but we don't have big money so we'll try we'll try Thank you guys in the Balkans. Don't do hardcore. Hardcore ruined my life. I'm 40 years old. I have three cats and a beautiful girlfriend. But get over here. It's my interview. Shh. Get out of here. Now, I, to the new bands, um, Unless you intend on spending 20 years in a van, losing apartments, having no job, having shoes at 40 years old that look like you're in fucking this homeless. I wear the same clothes day after day. If you don't have a big heart, you're never ever gonna last. Right now? Honestly, my my favorite hood song is is the, uh, uh, that new. We have a new song, Gato Negro. We played it tonight. I like it because it sounds more street punk and punk rock. 
I'm a punk rocker skinhead, man. And the kids nowadays forget that punk rock and skinhead was the same thing when we were in the 80s. I started going to shows in 1986. My first show was DRI, Circle Jerks in 7 Seconds. And I was probably, I think I was maybe 13 years old, and I grew up on punk and hardcore. The kids now don't have the conviction, they don't have the loyalty, they don't have the community. They're in this fucking scene for maybe one or two years. I've been into hardcore since I was six and a half years old. I had skinhead brothers. And we grew up in this shit. And it, unless you have a big heart, you're never going to last. So you might as well pack a fucking lunch. What's up? Who's like V Gates? Alles klar? Jawohl. Hey, you guys got our weed? You guys got marijuana? Drugs? All right. Choose. <laughs> Sorry. What's up? Those guys are gonna go butt fuck each other. <laughs> hey, Balkans, Balkans, what's Balkan? Um, it's like Macedonia, Romania. I like. I wrote. I used to play football with Romanians. She too, Napoi. Like Napoi means backwards, and she too is like a one-two in football. I don't even speak English. I speak Mexican, English, Deutsch, and a bit in uh, Belgian or what is that? Francois? No, I don't know. Balkans, we're fucking coming. What's up? That's it. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank all you guys. What's your name? Milan. Thank you. Come here, Milan. This is Milan. He's not from Milan. Ace. Uh, wait, do you like Inter Milan or AC no, Milan? No, no. I hate soccer. What's your name? Vladimir. Do you like nice AC Milan or Inter Milan? It was like. Uh, 15 years since I was. I'm sorry, we haven't car come. Show, man. I'm sorry, we haven't come. <laughs> we'll, we'll come. Thank you, lady. Thank you, sir. Gabby, I love you. Everybody, have a good time. Thank you, guys. I, I don't know what else to do. Oh, here. Willie, no I love you, Willie Nelson. <laughs>